Welcome to Hymn Stories, a podcast about how our songs of the faith came to be and how they've encouraged, comforted, and strengthened believers like you and me. Hymn Stories is a part of the Media Gratia Podcast Network. My name is Ryan Bush. When Frances Ridley Havergal was 14 years old, she had a dramatic conversion experience. It wasn't long after that conversion experience that Frances found herself at a place called Arley House. There, the Lord used her to work in the souls of some ten people. She was overjoyed by the Lord's goodness in her life. And that night, she penned the hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be. Take my life and let it be. Consecrated, Lord, to Thee, take my moments and my days, let them flow in endless praise, let them flow in endless praise. Four years later, Frances made an entry in her journal about the hymn. She said, The Lord has shown me another little step, and of course I have taken it with extreme delight. Take my silver and my gold. Now means shipping off all my ornaments, including a jewel cabinet, which is really fit for a countess, to the church missionary house, where they will be accepted and disposed of for me. I will keep only a few pieces of jewelry for daily wear, which are keepsakes for my dear parents, also a locket with the only portrait I have of my niece who is in heaven. Take my silver and my gold, not a might what I withhold. Take my intellect and It was the habit of Francis to spend time meditating on this hymn on the anniversary of her visit to Arley House. In one of her last journal entries about the hymn, six months before her death, she wrote, I had a great time early this morning renewing my never-regretted consecration. I seemed led to meditate on Take My Life and could bless him verse by verse for having led me on to much more definite devotion than even when I wrote it, voice, gold, intellect. But the eleventh couplet, which says, Take my love, my Lord, I pour, at thy feet its treasure store. Somehow I feel mystified and out of my depth here, It was a simple and definite thing to be done, to settle the voice or silver and gold. But love? I shall just go forward and expect him to enable me to love as I ought, and let my life from this day answer really to that couplet. The worst part of me is that I don't, in practice, prove my love to him. I don't delight in much and long communion with him. My hands and my head seem so full of other things that my heart seems not free to serve him in fresh and vivid love. Take my love, my Lord, I pour At thy feet its treasure store Take myself and I will be This hymn provides not only an occasion for the Christian to consecrate himself to Christ, but to examine the varied aspects of his life and consider if there is a might that they are withholding. 
The song was a source of continued devotion and sanctification for Frances for her entire life, as it can be for those today who desire to be used up for God's glory. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Hymn Stories. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you sing and make melody in your heart to Him.